but you can also see how it's floating up and down a little bit at times and then if I try to go up and down I, you can get I, I definitely want to get that if you're filming right now um, um, because that illustrates what happens when you run out of range on the uh, mechanism uh, that it starts bouncing because that illustrates a problem I want to talk about um, and we can go at some slightly different frequencies if it's go slower um, it goes too slow it starts running out of range and uh, whereas if it goes faster it does a very good job of filtering out the vibrations as you can see there So I don't know, and then if you kind of go up, it slowly follows, but if you get out of range, it starts, it kind of hits the bottom or top and starts bouncing again. So, and it, then you can come in a little closer and maybe zoom, and you can see that this is just a normal spring here uh, with a cable, and it wraps around a spiral-shaped pulley, okay. which is one and the same as uh, there's a circular pulley here, so it converts this linearly increasing force into a constant force equal to this weight and this weight is 71.2 grams that's it